In this video, we look at intermolecular forces. Intermolecular forces are forces of attraction between molecules. The three kinds of intermolecular forces are London dispersion forces, dipole-dipole forces and hydrogen bonding. Next, we'll have a look at each of these in more detail. So we'll start with London dispersion forces. London dispersion forces are the weakest kind of intermolecular force. Due to the constant motion of electrons, an atom or molecule can develop a temporary or instantaneous dipole. At any given time in an atom or a molecule, the electrons might be on one side of the molecule, giving it a negative dipole, therefore the other side will have a positive dipole, and that's referred to as a temporary or instantaneous dipole. An instantaneous dipole in one molecule can cause an induced dipole in a nearby molecule. On the left, we have a molecule with an instantaneous dipole. If this comes close to another molecule, it can induce a dipole, which is called an induced dipole. So therefore, London dispersion forces are made up of molecules with instantaneous dipoles and induced dipoles. Next, we look at the effect of increasing molar mass on the boiling point of molecules. Here we have the diatomic molecules F2, which is fluorine, Cl2, which is chlorine, Br2, which is bromine, and I2, which is iodine. As we go from top to bottom, the molar mass is increasing, and so is the boiling point. London dispersion forces increase with increasing molar mass. Greater London dispersion forces result in a higher boiling point, and that's because more energy is required to overcome the attractive forces between molecules. So, as the molar mass increases, so does the strength of the London dispersion forces between the molecules, and therefore, so does the boiling point. Next, we look at dipole-dipole forces. Dipole-dipole forces occur between polar molecules. They are the second strongest type of intermolecular force. Here's an example of dipole-dipole forces between molecules of hydrogen chloride. Because of the difference in electronegativity between hydrogen and chlorine, the chlorine has a negative dipole and the hydrogen has a positive dipole. There is an electrostatic attraction between the positive and negative dipoles in the molecule, which are dipole-dipole forces. The final type of intermolecular force is hydrogen bonding. Hydrogen bonding occurs when hydrogen is bonded to either nitrogen, oxygen or fluorine. It is a special kind of dipole-dipole attraction. It is also the strongest type of intermolecular force. Here are some examples of molecules that have hydrogen bonding. The first example is H2O. As you can see, there's a hydrogen bonded directly to an oxygen atom. The next example is ammonia, NH3. Here we have a hydrogen atom bonded directly to a nitrogen atom. And finally, hydrogen fluoride. Here we have a hydrogen atom bonded directly to a fluorine atom. Hydrogen bonding occurs between water molecules. Here you can see the hydrogen bonds between molecules of water. The hydrogen bond is between the positive dipole on the hydrogen atom and the negative dipole on the oxygen atom. Water has a much higher boiling point compared to other molecules with similar molar masses. And this is all due to the strength of the hydrogen bonds between the water molecules. In this graph, it's easy to see the effect that hydrogen bonding has on the boiling point of water. H2O has a much higher boiling point than the other group 16 hydrides. The boiling point of water is 100 degrees. The next molecule is hydrogen sulfide, which has a boiling point of about negative 50. The same can be seen for hydrogen fluoride and NH3 ammonia. These molecules have hydrogen bonded to oxygen, nitrogen or fluorine, therefore they have hydrogen bonding between molecules. The upward trend shown by the remaining compounds shows the effect of increasing molar mass on boiling point. So let's finish with a summary. We have the type of molecule, the intermolecular force and an example. So first is non-polar molecules. They have London dispersion forces between the molecules. Examples are Cl2, H2, N2 and O2. Next are polar molecules. They have London dispersion forces and 
dipole-dipole forces. Examples are HCl, HCN and CHCl3. And finally, molecules with hydrogen bonded to oxygen, nitrogen or fluorine, they have London dispersion forces, dipole-dipole forces and hydrogen bonding. And the examples we've looked at are H2O, NH3 and HF. So that's all from this video. Don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet.